Circus Dharma has gone full pig from Animal Farm much quicker than anyone expected because the Prime Minister is reportedly worth several million pounds. He had a highly paid legal career. He earns about 167 grand a year as Prime Minister. Despite this, he's accepted £75,000 worth of freebies. These include glasses, five grand worth of clothes, a personal shopper for his wife and hospitality tickets to the football. His excuses are ridiculous. He says he'll still take donations from a chap called Lord Alley, the bloke who mysteriously had a pass for Downing Street after the last election. Starmer said, I can't go into the stands at the football because of security reasons. Therefore, if I don't accept hospitality, I can't go to a game. Never going to an Arsenal game again because I can't accept hospitality is pushing it a bit far. All right. Well, it was fine for Rishi Sunak and his predecessor, Jeremy Corbyn seemed to manage absolutely perfectly well at the football there. These freebies are becoming harder and harder to justify for Sir Keir Starmer, as Angela Regal found out on the news this morning. The Royal Box at Wimbledon, hospitality at a Coldplay concert, Arsenal away games with the Foreign Secretary in tow, the list goes on. How does that align with the son of a toolmaker, man of a people image? Well, I think he's an Arsenal fan. I mean, it takes all sorts, I suppose. Oh, you can um, pay for his tickets like the rest uh, of them. <laughs> but, uh, but we only know about this because these things have been registered as appropriate, and I think the Prime Minister Good. had his say on that. Uh, yeah, they can't justify it, really, can they? Why can't he pay for it all himself? Seriously. And whoever's running Sir Keir's comms wants sacking because they thought it was a great idea for him and his wife, having just accepted £75,000 worth of freebies, including clothes and a personal shopper, to go to London Fashion Week. There you go. Starmer himself was pictured alongside models like Naomi Campbell. Uh, the more I see of Starmer, the more I do wonder if he's actually in touch with the common man and woman. He had to keep banging on about his dad's working class roots. And this is something the media will know. I said it many times in the uh, election campaign. My dad was a tool maker. Um, and he worked particularly with steel, as you do in tool making, of the sort that he was doing. Is that all he's got? Is that all he's got? You know, North London dwelling, gold-plated pension, Oxford educated, millions of pounds in the bank. I don't get the impression that he's actually that comfortable around normal working people, do you? How many pensioners could have heating this winter if Keir Starmer gave the Treasury those donations back? The money is accepted in donations that could all come flowing back to heat a few pensioners' homes, couldn't it? Anyway, let's get thoughts from our panel. We've got columnist and broadcaster Esther Cracker. We've got director of the Centre for Migration and Economic Prosperity, Stephen Wolfe, and former Labour Minister Bill Rammel. Um, so, yeah, these, these freebies that Starmer's been getting, Esther, um, it's becoming increasingly hard to justify why he couldn't just pay for those things himself, especially football tickets. Well, I mean, I think the two main objections that I personally have with this is, one, what was he getting in return for 75 grand mm. worth of free stuff? Because what people, I mean, I know uh, anytime we have a story about, you know, lobbyists or MPs accepting gifts or whatever, is people get angry because they don't like, it's uncomfortable to actually we, we discovered the, the proximity between power and politics, that actually wealthy people can effectively buy themselves access to politics, like mm. we've seen with, with Lord Ali. So my question is, one, what did he agree to in, in exchange for that? Was it just a gift? There's no such thing as fr like just free stuff. You must have accepted mm. something. And the second thing is the hypocrisy, because we know that if this was the Tories, you know, sleazy Tories, mm. as he liked to call them, he would be the first, you know, standing on his soapbox, making well, noise absolutely. about shouting to the high heavens. And that's, that's I think, what, well, what annoys me. They'd make the point, wouldn't they? They'd very easily be making the point now, Labour, after the Tories have chosen to make pensioners poorer. The, ad the adults are back in the room. in between heating and eating this yeah. this winter. And all you've been doing there is living it up in, a, in the royal box at w Wimbledon. The, the hospitality section at Arsenal, you know, or Coldplay, all of that stuff, the personal shopper for the wife. I don't know, I find how, how, how do you come back from this? That's my question, because his, his personal sort of rank, um, rankings are just plummeting. Mm. Well, I don't know, Stephen. I mean, is this, is this a big problem for him? Does he look like a massive hypocrite? Of course he looks like a massive hypocrite. This is the man that said I wanted to abolish the monarchy, and it's, yeah, yeah, he's become a sir and then wanted to become a KC. 
and that's what he got. This is somebody that initially said he was opposed to what Israel was doing and now accepted donations, as did so many of his cabinet, from those who are pro-Israel, and, and, and he's changed his view on it and got rid of Corbyn. This is the man who says he's a man of the people, a working-class individual, yet manages to take away the heating grants from the working-class grand, grandparents and grandfathers of our country whilst he's getting his wife paid for by millions. And then, this, by, by a millionaire. Mm. And, I, and I think that hypocrisy will stay with him. But I say four legs... Good two legs better. That's exactly what is the Labour Party, the same cheek of the same coin as yeah, another yeah. ex-Labour uh, MP once yeah. said. But I, I say, why are we surprised? Yeah. Remember Mandelson? He used to dine out in Montenegro with Russian billionaires on their yachts. You used to see Blair t uh, flaunting himself with his millionaire friends mm. around. And, of course... The reason why he is a massive hypocrite and doesn't understand the working class people is of where he lives, who he lives with. Yeah. He's an Islington boy. Well, he lives out the there point, in the million pound Keir houses. Keir Starmer doesn't actually like normal people, does he, Bill? He doesn't actually like ordinary working class people. He never hangs around with them, does he? Complete and utter bunkum. You know, <clears throat> look, you know, he's a man who stands up for working people. Look at the workers' rights that he's br bringing in. What about, you know, decent pay rises for hard-working people in the public sector for the first time in 14 years? Yes, he, he's in touch with ordinary people. I still remember the leadership debate with Sunak, mm. and there was something like a 37% gap in terms of which of these two people is in touch with ordinary working people, and Keir was the clear winner. But then it winner. turns out, because <clears throat> at the time, people thought that Rishi Sunak was an out-of-touch millionaire yeah. who was quite elitist, and then it turns out that we've got another one of them in Downing Street now, haven't we? Would you let your wife have a personal shopper or whoever? Would look, you? Look, 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 isn't hold on, ironic hold on. That Esther asked you're what's millionaire. being given in... Return. Yeah. Lord Ali is a lifelong Labour Party member and supporter, and he gives money to the Labour Party. Successive prime ministers have taken funding uh, for clothes uh, and other things. For what? It's, it's, for it's all. For what it's in all. It's, well, it looks like no, he, he, well, he got access. Return. He got free access to Downing Street, which the rest of us <laughs> didn't, don't get. We don't. We don't have. He half got a, a nice way of celebrating give, having a party. To give the Labour Party to then get, to then get 24/7 access to Downing Street. Listen, at, at he the, had it for a week as part of the transition. Is the point. The average person cannot buy that, and you have to admit. Here's here's the thing. I think with with with, with the, the whole sort of Keir Starmer debacle. The reality is, you really can't shake off this image that is just complete hypocrisy. Because we know that if this, the, the, the roles were reversed, he would be sh shouting to the high heavens. And mm. I'm sorry, that's just not acceptable. And it's interesting the language that the Labour Party uses. He's the man of the working people, right? But pensioners don't work. They can't work. Mm -hmm. They can't augment their, their wages. So he, he can, he can happily put, you know, train drivers on a salary that most junior doctors wouldn't see for the ten, first 10 years of their career. But the extra mm. 200 pounds that granny or grandpa would need to actually supplement their, their heating bills during winter. The that, danger, is, that is unacceptable, which the I think is... The danger you know, of this, though, is, but, 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 Esther, is that we, we are, we're turning our politics into a very American style of being bought. It, very, it has yeah, the image that our politics... politics yeah, po politicians have been bought. It's always seemingly un, behind the scenes. Now this is visible. This is like <laughs> no, saying, no, no. wave your money and I'll become a lord. How do we know that Lord Ali didn't donate to the Labour Party and was promoted up the ladder because of that in the, he's, in the he's, past. He's, he's we not, don't know. Well, he's not an official know. position. Hold on. We Look, don't know. You, you know, everything has been declared. And when you talk that about... make it better. Hold on. Every, yes, it does. That's the system we have. All hold on. politicians You're telling have us, taken... So if you want easy access to Downing Street, all you need no, is half a no, million no, no, quid. No, but That's all, so much all better, politicians, we know. in well, one form or another... Hold on, hold on, Patrick. All politicians, in one form or another, have taken donations. The key is that it's declarable. However, no, it's this, not is, not, this is not corruption on the scale that we saw under the Tories, uh, where there was it's preferential it's access, um, where there was like one rule... Like, like there was one rule for it's just the normal Prime corruption. Minister <laughs> and <laughs> another <laughs> rule for everybody else. Starmer didn't actually declare the personal shopper. No, he didn't. Yeah, and it's just normal corruption. It's not excessive corruption, so that makes it much better. No, it's not corruption. And what happened there was that... It's a straightforward mistake. Yes, it wasn't. Oh, so exactly. Do you see how this looks, though, Bill? You know, when one person does it, it's a it's a sin, and they it's have to repent. But this is normal but then corruption. But someone else does it, and you know, actually, it's not just the fact that it's an honest mistake. The other thing is, maybe we should have a look at changing our system. Maybe we should have a budget for prime ministers and their and their wives nice. to get. Well, to, to well, be well, to happens, it's 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 well I do I do like the, the fact that basis, David yeah. David Lammy got it uh, wrong again as foreign minister when he said yeah. that the wives of presidents in the United States get get a budget. They don't. It's actually the president gets fifty thousand mm. dollars. The wife gets nothing. 
But that just goes to show David Lamy again. His well, la- lack, lack like of knowledge. Something catastrophically wrong in an interview, would it? But um, yeah. all right. Well, look. You know, the jury's out. Some people will say that you know it's absolutely fine what he's doing. I just think the, the timing of it is quite is quite bad when you've got the, the old winter fuel payments and everything. But I suppose it was ever thus, wasn't it? Anyway.